everyone, I'm Peter Barron, and today I'm on the campus of Army and Navy Academy, and I'm going to go on a tour, and I've got three cadets here who have been nice enough to take some time out of their day to, to show me around. I, I thought maybe you guys could introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm Cadet Command Sergeant Major Matt Schultz. I'm 18, senior here at the Army Navy Academy, and I'm originally from San Jose, California. And this is your third year here? Yes, sir. Perfect. Third year. How about you? <laughs> My name is Tyler Beach. I'm a senior here at the Academy. I'm the Charlie Company Commander, and I've been here for two years. Great. My name is Cadet Captain David Bach. I'm the S4 Logistics Officer here, and I've been here for three years now. Perfect. Well, you know, again, thanks for thanks for taking some time, and I'm looking forward to going on a tour. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Great. Sir. So we're on our first stop here, and I thought this would be a good chance to, to get a little know a little bit more about Army and Navy Academy, you know, the history. And, and I'd also like to spend some time to talking about, you know, what's the day look like? You know, what does it look like from the moment you get up to the moment you, you go to sleep? So maybe one of you could talk a little bit about the history, and we can then segue into the, the day here at Army and Navy. Okay, sure thing. Well, uh, Army Navy Academy is, was founded in 1910, and it's been at this location since 1936. It's a military boarding school for all boys, and we accommodate grades 7 through 12. Um, I guess the average day, you wake up generally between 6.15 and 6.30. Uh, you have some time to eat breakfast, get ready for the day. And then at 8 o'clock, your classes start, and you're in class until uh, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and uh, with a break for lunch. And after that, you have tutorial time with which you can work with teachers in any classes you're having difficulties in. How long is that period? That period's an hour long. In oh, the great. Answer, from two to three. Has that been beneficial to, to all three of you? Very much. It has. It gives you time to finish your tests, to go back, ask any questions. All our teachers yeah. stay here for an hour after school. The doors are all open, and we can go in, you know, ask questions, finish tests, um, get some extra tu uh, tutoring time. So it's really beneficial towards yeah, all of us. It especially school. helps in preparation for tests. If you're having trouble in certain areas, you can go in and ask questions yeah. that you may not have been able to, you know, ask during class. Did you have like that, that at your previous schools? No. no. Yeah. Yes, right, right, great. And um, after tutorial time, sports starts. Sports is from 3 to 5 o'clock. And I, I'd say probably uh, many cadets at Army Navy Academy, most state in sports, yeah. most cadets. Um, and then after sports time, you have a little free time for dinner from about 5 to 7. And then at 7 is uh, when CQ or call to quarters time starts. And what that is is time where all cadets are in their room studying, preparing for the next day, doing homework, whatever it is they need to do. And uh, that's from 7 to 9. And if you're having trouble in any classes or you drop below 70%, that's when a mandatory study hall takes place, which is they all gather all the cadets in one area and uh, kind of watch over you as you do your homework. More supervised study. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. supervised study is a perfect way to say it. Yeah. And, and what uh, makes our school more different than a normal public high school is that we're busy from 6 o'clock in the morning until really 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. Mm -hmm. So there's no just go home and you're done. You're here right. working in an activity involved from 6 o'clock until really late. You know so what your day's going to look like every yeah. day. Schedule, yeah. which, is, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. And so you guys have been through this for a few years now. <laughs> biggest advantage to it? What, 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 what would you say? I'd say the biggest advantage is the support here that you have. Um, coming from a public school, a California public school, there was no support. If you started falling behind, it, that was it. You know, you had 30 to 40 kids per class. Here I've had classes with as little as six people in it. And I think the most is maybe 16 at most, that's, and that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's large. And uh, I mean, the teachers here are really dedicated. Some of them almost become like second parents to you. Like uh, Dr. Cowan comes to mind. She stays here till sometimes you know 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock yeah. at night. Um, after her academic day is way over, she stays and dedicates her time to us. That she doesn't have to, but she does because she cares a lot about us. And I feel that all the faculty and staff at the Army Navy Academy do yeah. care a lot about us and our success and our future. Great. Okay, so as you might see, we've come into a classroom. You guys are, are sit, sitting at desks here. Good opportunity to talk about the academics here at uh, Army and Navy Academy. So for you, I mean, coming into this experience, what, what has it been about the, the academic program that's really benefited all three of you? Academics are something that the Army and Navy Academy takes very seriously, and they provide us every tool available to help us with our academics. Um, starting off with small class sizes. Our class sizes can be from 12 to 15 students, Largest would be 15, 16. Um, the one-on-one, -on -one, the faculty gets, or, um, the faculty to student ratio is very good, and our teachers in our classrooms get to, get to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with us, which is really helpful. Um, Let me contrast that. Sure. So you're coming from all three of you from public schools, school, right? Class size was 40. So from you being a class of 12 to 15, mm -hmm. you know. Give me an example. What is, what's the advantage been? Like, why has that been, been beneficial to you? Well, I think the first example that comes to mind is in language classes. 
Um, in my French class at public school, it was really hard because the teacher couldn't spend the same amount of time with each student, making sure they're pronouncing everything correctly and stuff like that. And here, she can go around the room, maybe pair us up in twos, and really spend that amount of time with us. Um, so it's just more in-depth time that you can spend. I mean, the same is true for science and math and such. It's just the first example that comes to mind is language. What about, you, do you feel like you're, you're better able to advocate for yourselves? I mean, maybe before when you're in a class of 40 or 50 kids, you didn't necessarily have the confidence to raise your hand and ask a question. Just, well, I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I mean, math has always been, a, math has always a struggle for me in public high school. I was, um, I was maybe distracted or not focused, but here at the academy, we have great math teachers. Um, my calculus teacher, Ms. Mitchell, always um, makes time for me um, whenever she's available to work with me, and I really appreciate that. Yeah. So. And, and how about yourself? Absolutely. Um, uh, coming from Washougal High School in Washington, it was very difficult with a class, math class size of 37. Um, last year when I was in pre-calculus with Ms. Mitchell as well, she always found time to you know, help me out whenever I was you know, uh, struggling with something, especially during office hours or tutorial times. Yeah. All right, so we've come into a, a dormitory here, a dorm room rather, at Army and Navy. And you know, this is a good time for us to talk a little bit about what the residential program is like. And, you know, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. You know, you've been through it for a few years now. You know, what's your takeaway with boarding here at, at Army and Navy Academy? Uh, well, personally, I think it's helped me a great deal. Um, the academics have helped me here a lot, but I think the thing that's really set me up for success in college has actually been the residential life program. Uh, the reason for that is because over my time here, I think I've lived with about four different roommates, and each of them has a different background that I learned more about. And, you know, it's one thing to be in a classroom with somebody from a different culture, even a different country, and learn about them. But it's another thing entirely to actually live with them. Mm -hmm. um, and so I've learned a great deal about a lot of people in a lot of different cultures through the Residential Life Program because we have so many international students here. And I've actually formed a lot of lifelong friendships that um, I really cherish. Yeah, residential yeah, life commenting program. on those friendships, um, you definitely do uh, learn a lot about the person you're living with. After about a, in a year, after about a couple months of living with that person, you're going to realize you know more about them and you know more about them than you do about your friends that you've grown up with for years. Because um, you, you go to breakfast together, you go to lunch together, you go to your school day together, you're, in, you're doing your sports together, so you're always together, you're always talking, you're always learning about each other, and you do learn more about them than, you know, than I did about my friends when I grew up with. So. Yeah, and I'm looking around at this room in particular, and it's, it's pretty clean, right? So is, this, is that another skill that you guys have built since you've been here, to like, really understand how Absolutely. to take care of your things? Definitely. Um, while they've commented on friendships and you know getting to know people, I think one of the things that I've learned a lot here is independence. Because although you know you are on a very strict routine schedule, and although you know um, you have a lot to do, you are required to keep yourself and your room clean, uh, keep up a good personal appearance inspection. A lot of that, you know, it's not really offered at a public school. But you have teachers kind of shuffling you along, or your parents kind of shuffling you along. It's really up to you here to make it work. So if I were to go to your homes now. Back, you know, back at home, would your rooms look this clean? They would. Yeah. They would. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, one last question for, for me, and if you guys can go in a different, you know, you can offer anything else beyond that. What's it like on the weekends? I mean, you've got the, the, the beach right behind you. You know, when you do have some downtime, you know, what kinds of things are you guys doing? Well, during the week, you're usually busy, but on the weekends, there's a lot of free time. Um, I am personally a surfer, so every weekend, I like to go down there and spend two or three hours a day surfing. Um course weather permitting also um, you can go on local liberty from one to three every day which is basically going out to the town of carlsbad and maybe getting a pizza or there's something. lots of stuff to do down there yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. And, and how about you guys well also um, on the weekends the academy offers many uh, off off campus trips mm. to knott's berry farm to they went to um they go disneyland, disneyland legoland um, Universal Studios, last weekend, they they'll take a group that wants to go and that signs up, and they'll go to an off-campus excursion for the day. So when they say that, that Army and Navy Academy is, is on the Pacific Ocean, I mean, they're, they're not kidding, literally, there it is right there. You know, for, for all three of you, what's it been like going to school with this as your backyard? It's incredible. It's been it's been uh, different. It's funny that my old high school, we would have okay, crows and blackbirds visit our school. We have seagulls flying around our campus, so that's pretty different. Yeah. Do you guys get, are you able to take advantage of, of the ocean here? Definitely, yeah. Absolutely. You have an opportunity to surf every day if you want. Yeah. And do any of you guys surf? I am an avid surfer. Um, I was on the surf team last year. Unfortunately, due to my studies this year, I, uh, I've been more focused on uh, trying to pass an exams and stuff. But I definitely surf every chance I get, especially on the weekends. Yeah. But a lot of cadets utilize the oceanfront you know, property and the beach. And whenever uh, 
the beach is open, we have a lifeguard that does monitor it, and um, so it's safe. And it's very common uh, towards the springtime to see some cadets tanning after they finish their home. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, with this behind you, it's hard not to come down, right? We very also, hard. on Wednesdays, we have barbecue on the beach, which is a barbecue pit. You can't probably see it right now, but um, they, they do provide hamburgers, hot dogs, and every winter we do have a barbecue on the beach, which is really cool to get everybody out. All right, so we've come in, uh, to the next stop, which is in front of the college counseling office. You know, you're all seniors, and I imagine you spent quite a bit of time here over the last couple of years. Tell me about how it's helped you get ready for college. Uh, well, we have a great college counseling program and a great college counselor. She helps me so much. My senior year, I've been in the college counseling center every day. She helps advise me for my college plans, um, tons of books and information available. She'll help me with research on what academic choice, what major choice I want to do next year. Um, it's just a great tour, tool and a great asset for her. Miss Katie and Miss Kroger Diamond, our college counselor, is here um, really late Tuesdays, Thursday nights. She's always in her office, open door policy every day. Anyone asks questions, they stop by, ask her questions, and she feels um, you know, free to help them. And um, my college plans include going to UCLA to study business economics. Yeah. When did the process start? Did you start your junior year? Your my, senior? My biggest piece of advice is for juniors to start definitely your junior year. Don't wait till your senior year. It's not too early to start. Start planning now. My uh, my college planning started actually as soon as we got here. The counseling uh, program was really on top of that. Yep. So within the first week of me getting here, I've uh, been pulled in and talked to the counselors. They said, like, uh, you know, start thinking about where you want to go. Start looking at schools. These are the courses you should think about taking. And they really set me up and kind of got the schedule laid down for uh, what I would be doing over the next three years here. And what are you, where, where are you going to do next year? I am attending University of Puget Sound in Washington, and I'll be majoring in uh, international political economy. Great. And for you, what is how's the college process been uh, in working with the college admission office, or the college guidance office? office? Uh, the college um, counseling office has really helped a lot, especially for my junior year. Uh, we were, you know, probably I think two or three times throughout the year we went on to um, field trips down in San Diego, where there would be college conventions. So you, could, you know, really talk to people one on one for different colleges like West Point or Coast Guard Academy or University of Puget Sound, UCLA. Just really get to know people there. But, you know, also during your senior year, a lot of you can go and, like you said, every single day, talk to Miss Katie, and she will help you on anything you have questions with. Okay, so we've come to the end of the tour, and this is always something that I, I say for the very end. Um, this one last question. For the three of you, why has Army and Navy Academy been a good place to go to school? Uh, well, starting off, um, I came here second semester as a sophomore, and I wasn't doing so well in my old public high school. Uh, my grades had gone down a lot. Um, and I really was on the road to, you know, ruin. Um, but when I came to Army-Navy Academy, something really unique happened to me, and I realized that it was solely up to me to be the person that I want to be. If I want to do good grades, nobody else can make me do it. And I think it was that realization that kind of turned me around from, you know, a 2.0 cadet to now a 4-point-plus GPA average. And how about you? Uh, I'd say the biggest thing that I learned here was independence. I just... And I definitely have grown up a lot. I think that's the biggest thing that's helped me is I've become independent and I've matured while I was here. Uh, at my previous high school, I went in to my freshman year with a really unrealistic view on the world and uh, life in general. And this has really turned me around. I started out my first semester as a freshman in high school with a 0, 0.0 GPA. And I just kind of floated through high school all the way to my junior year in public school. And that's when I realized, I kind of woke up one day and realized I'm not really going anywhere. And uh, I asked my parents and... They looked into it, we came down and visited, and they said it was all right if I came here. And I actually chose myself to repeat a year as a sophomore, so I came into Army-Navy Academy as a sophomore. And uh, I'm now in the second semester of my senior year, headed to a respectable small liberal arts college with a 4.0 GPA. So I've completely turned myself around, and I wouldn't say Army-Navy Academy turned it around for me. I would say that they helped me to help myself turn it around. Did they give you the foundation you needed, the Definitely. structure? Yeah. And finally... I came to the, to the Army Navy Academy my junior year, and it has been and still is the best decision that I've ever made. Um, it changed it changed my GPA as well. I had a 3.2, and it brought me up to a 4.2. And um, I was looking at smaller colleges, not really sure where I was going to go, where I was going to get in nowadays with that GPA. And now I've, I've gone to UCLA, and I'm very satisfied with that. And um, the Army Navy Academy has brought me in so many tools and um, the independence as well. And you really take out of it what you put in. So the harder you work, everything does matter, and um, it's been really helpful for me. So. Well, I want to thank all three of you for an excellent tour around campus. It's a beautiful day. I really enjoyed talking to you, and I wish you all the best of luck moving forward. Thank, thank you. you.